Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, Lords Lupus. I created this channel to talk about all things lupus. On this channel, there's no topic off limits where we talk about real issues dealing with lupus. And so I wanted to welcome you today. I wanted to just drop in and say happy Friday. Sometimes on this channel, I come in and I give educational and informative information. Other times I drop in just to give a word of encouragement or inspiration. And how many of us could use some encouragement? I would be the first person to raise my hand. I know that I, I could use as much encouragement day by day on a daily basis as much as possible. And so I drink in as much encouragement as I can. And as I become encouraged and inspired, I like to drop in and encourage you as well. Because with lupus, we have some highs, but we have some very low lows. And so it's during that time that I feel that I need the most encouragement. And so I wanted to drop in and, you know, even if you're not in a low space or feeling lows today, you know, I still think that everyone could use encouragement. There's no such thing as too much encouragement. And so today's encouragement is going to be that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And so you may ask, Laura, why are you talking about fear on your lupus channel? Well, because I guarantee you that there are some lupus warriors, some lupus survivors out there that know exactly what I'm talking about when I talk about the type of fear that grips your soul the type of fear that has you too afraid to go backwards and too afraid to go forward, that has you feeling stuck, the type of fear that paralyzes you, the type of fear that will cause you to call the doctor and feel that if you don't get to the doctor or the hospital, something serious is going to happen. Or sometimes fear can cause the total opposite, where you feel that, you know what, I'm not going to call the doctor. I'm not going to the hospital. If I just ignore what's going on in my body right now, it'll go away. Or no news is good news. As long as I don't know, it doesn't matter. And so fear can impact you in so many ways, mentally, physically, um, emotionally, and spiritually. Fear can grip your soul. And like I said, the things that can cause a lupus warrior to feel fear is a new symptom, a new diagnosis from the doctor, a new procedure, a new surgery, a new medication. These are all things that can cause a lupus warrior soul to be gripped by fear. And so I came to encourage you, if you're going through something today, a new symptom where you're feeling like this is the worst, you're asking yourself, how is this new medication or this new, um, this new procedure, this new surgery, this new diagnosis or prognosis, how is it going to impact my life? Will my life ever be the same? How dramatically is it going to change my life? Is it going to stop me from doing things that you know, um, I'm used to doing or able to do? Or is it going to limit me even more? But I came to tell you that fear, fear is a liar. And that you don't have to spend your days, your hours, your minutes, rehearsing the worst outcome due to fear gripping your soul. Because you know what, my friend, I don't care what it is in life, whether it's lupus or something else. Think back to how many times that you've thought in your mind, you've imagined and you've seen it come to pass in your mind, the worst outcome in a situation. And 80% of the time, all the things that we feared or that we have feared, they never come true. And so we waste so much time we spend so much of our time stagnant and paralyzed by fear. And I just came to tell you that you don't have to because fear is a liar. 
The acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. And so many times we're presented with all this evidence that this is the worst. Things are never going to get better. I'm not going to make it till tomorrow. I shouldn't play, make any plans for the future because why plan? You know, I'm never going to be able to enjoy the future. Oh, this new procedure, they're going to find the worst thing. This lupus is attacking my body so bad that uh, I'll never be the same. I'm in so much pain, I'll never get out of this bed. You know, but I came to tell you fear is a liar. And the reason why I can say that and there are some other warriors on here that can testify to that. And even yourself, if you're watching this video, I don't care, my friend, what you're going through right now. That fear that you're feeling that has you paralyzed, that you can't go backwards and you don't want to move forward. Or you feel that there is no hope that's causing you to lose your hope. Fear is a liar. Because you know what? Look how far you've come. You know, some of us, it took us years to get a lupus diagnosis. We were going through so much and on so much medication and seeing so many different doctors and, and having so many biopsies and procedures and x-rays and MRIs and CT scans and blood work drawn, you know? I thought I was going to need a, a blood transfusion. They were taking so much blood. But look how far we've come. And from the first day you finally receive your diagnosis that, hey, you have lupus, look how far you've come. From those times when lupus uh, was wrecking your body with pain and you felt like you couldn't get out the bed, you couldn't lift your hands to do your own hair, you couldn't uh, get out of the bed to get a shower, you couldn't stand up long enough to get yourself something to eat, you were in so much pain, you felt so weak, you had so many things going on in your body. You were on so much medication that you felt like you weren't going to make it to see tomorrow, that you weren't going to go on, that you weren't going to be able to go on. But look at you today. And I want you to know that fear is a liar and that God has not given you a spirit of fear. And that if God is with you on the mountaintop, he's definitely going to be with you in the valley. If he can be with you when you're feeling your highs, Guess what? He's even with you more when you're feeling your lows. And I came to tell you that sometimes God gives the most difficult battles to his strongest soldiers. You're not called a lupus warrior for nothing. You're not called a, a survivor for nothing. You've been through some stuff, yes. You've seen some hard times. You've had some difficult days. And I'm not going to say that you're not going to have hard times in the future and that there are not more difficult days coming. But you made it. Fear wants you to give up hope. But guess what? Fear is a liar. Fear wants you to throw in the towel. But guess what? Fear is a liar. Fear wants you to uh, not have an outlook for your future. But fear is a liar. Fear wants you to feel that this is as good as it's going to get. This is as good as it's ever going to be. But fear is a liar. Fear wants to tell you that you have lupus and lupus has you. But fear is a liar. Fear wants to tell you that there is no life after lupus. That this is about as good as it's going to get. But fear guess what, is a liar. And so whenever your soul is gripped with fear, I want you to replace those fearful thoughts with thoughts on how far you've come. I want you to replace that fearful thought, even if you have to write out your plan on a piece of paper. This is what I plan on doing in the next 15 minutes. This is what I plan on doing tomorrow. This is what I plan on doing next week or next year. Write out a plan. Write it for yourself. When you put something in writing, it seals it for you. It makes you work towards it. Even if you can't get out of the bed today, write out if you could get out the bed, what you're going to do tomorrow. Because guess what? Fear is a liar. And you've come a mighty long way. And there is no turning back. There's only moving forward here, even with all the limitations that we have, 
even with everything that we go through with lupus, fear is a liar. And so replace those negative thoughts with positive ones. Replace that I want to give up and there's nothing better that's going, the sun is still going to come out tomorrow. So replace that thought that it's gloom and doom. Replace it with the sun is still going to come out tomorrow. And I've been through some tough times, but I've made it. I'm here to testify today. Sometimes, my friend, you have to muster up enough energy to encourage yourself. You may not have anybody around you to give you an encouraging word. You have to encourage yourself. You have to not focus on the symptoms or the new tests or the new medications or the new diagnosis or the possibility of what this diagnosis may mean. You have to encourage yourself that I've made it through yesterday. I'm going to make it through today. And it all starts with you putting one foot in front of the other. One positive thought in front of that negative thought. Canceling. Canceling one negative thought and replacing that one negative thought with positive thoughts. Not focusing on the symptoms, but focusing on something else. Feeling the fear, but not allowing the fear to control you. Having lupus, but not allowing lupus to have you. As I always say on my videos, there is life after lupus. And so anything that tells you different, when fear tries to tell you that there is no life after lupus, you tell fear. You look it square in the eye and you tell fear, you are a liar. Because guess what? God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Okay? And so I just want to encourage someone today, you know. And so I want you to take care. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And we'll talk soon on the next video. Bye for now.